Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from the WREG News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a latest update on what's going on with your forecast as we rapidly run out of 2016 and head into 2017. Got rain on the way, not for today, looking again at some quiet conditions for the most part today. But as we go into the weekend, could be some more disturbed weather heading on through. First rain, then thunderstorms, and then maybe the possibility of getting in some maybe some changeable weather toward about the end point of next week as a large chunk of Canadian cold air makes its way across the Mid-South so it's going to be very mild starting off 2017 but we'll be looking for a big cool down heading our way as we get into weeks end quite possibly some frozen precipitation we'll take a look at the extended forecast plus if you have friends or loved ones serving overseas in the United States military please stop by and keep an eye on what's going on with weather where the troops are forecast in the red bar on the bottom of your screen. Sunny today, westerly winds, temperatures in the green triangle back in the lower 50s, very close to where we should be for this time of the year. Clear skies tonight, temperatures back in the lower to mid 40s maybe a few mid to upper 30s out there and the winds start to turn back around from the southwest and as that happens we'll be looking at some much warmer temperatures into the next couple of days minus tomorrow which will be a little cooler more on that coming up in just a little bit earthquakes in the mid-south nothing to report in the last 24 hours things have been very quiet across much of the area for the last week or so with minor earthquakes only of about maybe two magnitude or less and nothing detected here more information go to earthquakes.us usgs.gov or go to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information via our own hometown University of Memphis that's available at memphisedu.edu slash CERI for more information. This morning none to report at Memphis International Airport. Clear, plenty of sunshine, calm winds, and no delays being reported here. LAX is looking for some delays reported with rain and some clouds causing some problems, but otherwise no delays, no major delays to report across the continental United States. For more information, go to fly.faa.gov. Currently seeing temperatures pretty chilly as we tape this just before 9 o'clock. Winds picking up a bit today. Temperatures rising into the mid to upper 40s, and then heading through the rest of the day, looks like lower 50s will be a about as good as we get. West winds turning to the southwest. That'll help to keep the temperatures decently mild, but we also see little, if anything, showing up in the way of precipitation out there either. So for your cough temp decks for today, we'll say again, hot coffee for the morning and all that chill out there. And for later on this morning, might be warm enough to where you can risk an iced coffee, but remember, your coffee temperature, your business, if you get a brain freeze or burn your tongue, that's not our responsibility, so keep in mind that. Kennebunkport, Maine, after a major snowstorm rolls on through the area with nearly a foot of snow out there, plenty of sun, sea, sand, and some snow out there on the dunes by the seaside inn. And I'm saying hello to Tom and Karen Letterer, my wife's cousin's uh, parents who live just down the road to the right of this picture by about a mile or so. Stayed there a few years ago and would love to go back. Plenty of sunshine in Oxford, Mississippi and on the Ole Miss campus. Beautiful view there. Same thing from our St. Francis camp in Cordova as we look over the area with a lot less traffic than usually is seen at this time of the day as we're still in the middle of the holidays. Plenty of sunshine looking good around Germantown City Hall. Uh, if you are going to be doing anything in the way of traveling around this area, this camera is located just to the north of Germantown, or just west, uh, east of Germantown Parkway, which you can see going through right through in here, and Poplar Pike back into around that direction. Down this direction, uh, around just to the east of Germantown High School, there's going to be a closing of the railroad crossing for maintenance. You won't be able to get through between Germantown Parkway and Hacks Cross, so you're going to need to take an alternate route in that location. Plenty of sunshine, not too many golfers out and about on the Windy Country Club camera. A few golf carts lined up and ready to go. View from Olive Branch, Mississippi. Former Mayor Sam Riker's webcam around City Hall showing some beautiful blue skies out there today. The moon rose very close to the sunrise this morning, so it was difficult to see. It'll be rising a little bit later, and it should be a beautiful view tonight. It's just a fraction of a waxing crescent, so you should be able to see that pretty well. Sunrise today, 7.08. Sunrise tomorrow, 7.09. Nine hours and about 50 minutes of daylight for today, or sunlight, I guess I should say. Plenty of daylight out there and getting longer days as we approach the full point of winter. 
Not doing too bad on rainfall for the end of the month, about an inch and a half in surplus for December, and looking pretty good for the end of the year, just over seven and three quarters inches for Memphis. No rainfall yesterday. Yesterday's highs, 39 degrees, six above the normal, 54 just above the normal by four degrees. Record high for today, nowhere close to that, 73 set back in 1951, a record low that has not been broken since 1876 of three degrees above zero. For today, plenty of sunshine, looking good through lunch time today. Winds starting to switch from the west to the southwest. Peak temperatures for today will be back in the upper 40s to lower 50s, very close to where we should be for this time of the year. Heading into tonight, News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers on with your forecast around News Channel 3 at 10, upper 30s to lower 40s. Notice it's still clear across the Mid-South, but also notice that back toward the south and to the west, we're starting to see again a little bit more in the way of cloud cover heading up our direction, and that's going to be moving our way throughout the rest of the evening into very early tomorrow morning. Scattered showers redevelop and keep developing into tomorrow morning, afternoon, and evening, and plenty of showers hours for the Mid-South through dinner time and right on in through the time the guitar drops on Beale Street. So indoors tomorrow may be a better idea. What about snowfall? Let's go way as we ramp up the computer models and look all the way out into around the early portion to mid portion of next week. Nothing really shows up that much until about noon on Wednesday when snow chances start to show up looking back over toward the area of the Arklatex and into around portions of Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Northwest Arkansas. And then by Wednesday evening, Thursday at midnight, we start to see better chances of snow showers into and around the area north and west of the Mid-South that might be making its way down closer toward us. We'll have to watch out for that. Sunny skies today. Plenty of great opportunities to get outdoors and get some fresh sunshine before the rain drives into our, us back indoors and the cabin fever index starts going up. By Sunday night, we could be looking at some thunderstorms in the Mid-South. A lot of showers throughout the day off and on, but the best possibility will be by evening around and into Monday morning. Maybe some severe weather out there. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. And then by week's end, going from 70 on Monday to the 30s on Thursday and staying in the 30s by Friday. Could be some rain mixed with snow out there. Again, it's still way too early to tell. I'm going to be watching that very carefully and staying chilly into the first weekend, the first full weekend of 2017. Heading for weather where the troops are back into Iraq. Temperatures in the 60s around Basra, mid to upper 50s with partly cloudy to clear skies around Baghdad, Najaf and clear toward Mosul. So the Persian Gulf just to the south and east temperatures in the upper 60s to the upper 70s around Riyadh but no heavy weather out there. And getting into the rest of the area that we usually monitor for this, looking toward Afghanistan. Temperatures back in the upper flood and Kabul. 50s around Herat and Kandahar, but nothing coming down from the skies there. Mostly cloudy skies across South Korea. 20s around Seoul and Chunchan. 30s throughout the rest of the area there. Thanking Louis Haskett for a very nice view, a patriotic end of the year view of a bald eagle, assuming that's somewhere up around northeast Arkansas there. And also Brando underscore TM, one of our studio crew here at the News Channel 3 studio. Studios. Nice picture from Thursday morning. Got anything you want to tweet? Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Tune in for my radio forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. And we'll be back on the air next week with Bob and Josh, Monday through Friday, 6 to 9 a.m. with Talk Back Live and Memphis in the Morning. And don't forget to download our app from whatever platform you have. Download it today. Go to your app store and search WREG Weather. I'll have the forecast through noon today. Jim Jaggers takes over for the evening broadcast. And, of course, I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, here at News Channel 3, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, completing the entire holiday schedule for you as we go from out of 2016 into 2017. Questions, concerns, ideas, we want to hear them, complaints. If you absolutely must, austin.onic at wreg.com. And I'll be glad to do what we can to make this your weather blog so you can keep tuning in. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic, live and direct from the downtown Memphis studios of News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me for today's latest update of Weather Overtime. And stay tuned for more updates throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.